I am saying that, <clears throat> and but and ultimately, so the not, purchaser of the bond yeah. may not be the person who is actually handing it over to Correct. the political party. That's why. That's why. That's why they may say that we don't know, <clears throat> and they can also say that. It was not even handed over in person. It was just left at our doorstep. So, <clears throat> or courier to us, anything they can say. Who is uh, the election commission is appearing before us? Yes, yes. I, I'll just read out. I'll Who's read out for the election commission. Mr. Uh, Sharma, you have details of uh, you have details of uh, these these uh, this data which has been submitted That's pursuant to the interim order. Interim order. We have that in our log that with my lords. Do keep it with you in the court yeah. where at an appropriate time we'd like to look at it. But this is pertaining to 2019. That interim order was passed in 2019. So pertaining to that, the data is with us. But, but they should give the data. This, this was a continuing interim order. But this is not only confined to the 2019 election. The mandate is that you must continue to maintain this uh, data. As far as the data of 2019 is concerned, look, that's there in the seal cover. Because if my laws requires so, Mr. Sharma, let's be very clear. This order, this is an interim order. That's right. It will continue till the decision. So, so there are 40 legal objects pending. Hmm. Possibly that's the. There are? Till date. Paraphrasing of that. There are. For Parap the past. That's for the past. The above details will be furnished forthwith in respect of electoral bonds received by a political party till date. The detail of such other bonds received by such political party up to the date fixed for issuing such bond as per note of the Ministry of Finance dated so and so will be submitted on or before 30th May 2019. So just one thing now. You are reading paragraph 13 as restricted by paragraph 14? And you have not carried forward the data with regard to post to post the interim order. I'll have to seek instructions. Please take instructions on that. Fourteen does not restrict it to restrict paragraph thirteen. Paragraph fourteen is for the past. Paragraph 13 is from that period onwards. Because I'll, I'll take it. Sir. What paragraph 14 says is that in respect of the past period, the data will be submitted forthwith. But para 13 is a continuing direction. This is not only confined to the 2019 election. Then I'll, I'll seek instruction. Then, my lord, the next order <clears throat> at para 20, which I have quoted, is that mix and match thing. I said this honorable court in its interim order dated 26-3, subsequent interim order. However, based on the government's claims while rejecting the petitioner's prayer for interim stay had noted, the financial statements of companies registered under the Companies Act, which are filed with the registrar of companies, are accessible online on the website of the ministry for anyone. They can also be obtained in physical form from the registrar of companies upon payment of prescribed free fee since the scheme mandates political parties to file audited accounts of statements and also the Companies Act requires financial statements of registered companies to be filed with the registrar of companies, the purchase as well as encashment of bonds happening only through banking channels is always reflected in documents that eventually come to the public domain. All that is required is a little more effort to cull out such information from both sides, purchaser of bond and political party, and do some match the following. Therefore, it is not as though the operation of the scheme are behind iron curtains and capable of being pierced. Pausing here, my lord. This is this is not correct because because you can't citizen can't do this match the following etc. Because the company does not disclose who they have given the bond to. Company only discloses the total bonds purchased. The political parties only discloses the total bonds received. So you can't. No citizen can match. Only the only the state bank, only the state bank, state bank, and any law enforcement agency which asks such information from the state bank. Strictly speaking, only that. Otherwise, citizen certainly can't. It completely defeats the citizens' rights. Now, my lord, I just want to read out the objections of the election commission. Para twenty-five. 
when this bond scheme was introduced, the Election Commission, as well as the Reserve Bank, strongly objected to it. <clears throat> Election Commission, para 25. In its letter, and we have given the pages of the primary documents from volume 4 of the compilation. I am in, in the interest of conserving time. I am just reading these relevant parts. <clears throat> 